So we will learn uh, what is stem and leaf plot. Uh, the stem and leaf plot uh, looks like this. Uh, so it has got uh, uh, a series of numbers known as stem and a series of numbers known as uh, leaf. And it looks like uh, this particular, uh, you know, plot. So we'll try to understand what it really means and what it really represents. So, so this is an example of it. Okay. So it's an alternative to the histogram. It looks something similar to what histogram, uh, but it's it's different. And uh, uh, but histogram and leaf plot can be used for similar purpose. Um, so one of the main difference between uh, the stem and uh, uh, leaf plot um, and the histogram is that the uh, stem and leaf plot um, gives the uh, visual representation uh, of data uh, without losing the individual data points right so in the histogram you can see that uh, we we plot the different uh, uh, range of numbers and the actual uh, you know frequency count right so in the y axis we have got frequency and in the x-axis, we have got the range in which the numbers, the actual data points fall into, right? Whereas in the stem and leaf plot, uh, you actually do not uh, lose the individual data points. Like in this case, uh, the indiv individual data points are represented on the plot. So uh, this particular, uh, uh, you know, this particular number is nothing but uh, five, and this particular number is nothing but uh, 16 and 17 okay 16 and 17 so if I, I would like if I would uh, make it into a series of numbers uh, the numbers would be 5 and then 16 and then 17 and then 28 uh, 23 uh, 26 right? so that's the way uh, we can you know get back to the original uh, number series now how do we construct this series again into uh, leaf uh, stem and leaf uh, we'll just learn uh, in the next slide. Um, so, so the idea is that it doesn't lose the individual data point, which is uh, you know which is not found um, on the histogram, and that's a, a, a demerit of uh, using histograms. So, how do we create this stem and leaf plot? Well, let, let's take an example here. So, I've got a number series, um, and the first first thing to do is that to uh, to sort it in ascending order. Right, so the number series is from 12, 14, and that another 14, 20, 26, 31, 56, and 59. Now, this series we want to uh, represent on the uh, stem and uh, leaf plot. So, how do we do that? The, so, first notice what is uh, in the uh, leftmost side of the number, or uh, uh, like in this case, the decimal number. It's one again here, it's also one. Uh, 1, uh, 2, uh, 2, and 3, 5, and 5, right? So this is the decimal, decimal number. So what we'll do is that we'll take the extreme number or the first digit of the number uh, and we call it a stem uh, and it starts with 1 and ends at uh, 5. So in between we have got uh, the 4 is missing. So we have 1 and then we have 2, uh, 3, uh, there is no 4, uh, and then we have 5. So we, uh, what you do is that we uh, put these numbers uh, in the left, left, uh, left side and we're calling it a stem. So we put 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Remember that we do not have 4 but still we need to put 4. We cannot have a gap. So we need to put 4 over there. Then against 1, how many numbers are there? Well, in 12 you have got 1 and 2. Then 1, then in the uh, leaf portion I put 2. Okay, and then the next number is 14. So what I do is that right next to that I put 4, right? So that's how that's how that's how we understand. So 1, 2, first number, and then 1, 4. Then we have got another 14. So that is again 1, 4. And the next one is 20. So we go to the uh, one step below, and then against 2 we we got this 0, right? So we have 20, and there is no, uh, you know. Okay, we, we have another uh, number in 20, so that is 26, so we'll put 6 over here. Yeah, I just missed that. Okay, so we have 20 and then we have 26. Similarly, uh, in the 30s, uh, we have got 31, right? So against 3, we put 1. And there is no number within, uh, you know, 20 to 30, so uh, we go one step below 
and then against 4 there is no number right so we just leave it back and then in 50s uh, we have got 56 and 59 so we put 6 and 9 and now this is how the lip plot look like so we represent the number of or the frequency of data point in each uh, you know uh, you know in each um, bean uh, but we do not lose the actual data points right so it similar to histogram but it gives uh, you know additional advantage that you can actually look at uh, or get back to your uh, actual data series from the same only plot so where is it used actually so the first thing that is uh, uh, for which this is used is to show the relative density and shape of the data right so um, pretty much like uh, the purpose for which uh, histogram is used right for the same purpose you can do that and then you can also find the outliers in your data set uh, by looking at uh, the stem and uh, lip plot